Hello everyone, it is your lovely host, The Gaming Weasel, finally back after a little bit of a pause. And today, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite weapons in the game, and it's finally gotten its incarnate adapter, the Soma Prime, or Soma, which I adored and has been an amazing weapon for the longest time in Warframe, but sadly, over the years, it really did fall off. I actually did make a video on it a couple of uh, weeks and months back, you know, sort of, symbolizing, I guess, the long use of this weapon, and now let's move on to its incarnate form. First of all, which weapon should use, Soma or Soma Prime? I think we all know the answer on the screen right now. Comparison, Soma has basically lower everything than Soma Prime, so Soma Prime is going to be an option. Now, keep this in mind. The Soma Prime is a really good weapon in it of itself. By today's standards, it's not that good. Does the Incarnate form help? Well, you're sort of gonna have to find out by watching the gameplay and also, I guess, hearing my thoughts at the end, but honestly, I think it is pretty decent. Well, I guess I'll give you a little bit of a taste here. We do have actually two builds in this video because keep in mind that the Incarnate form is a shotgun form where the critical chance is lower than the normal Soma Prime being 30% for the Soma Prime and then 10% in its Incarnate form, so two builds I think is going to be plenty enough. And also we do have basically two evolution paths with this weapon, so I guess without any further delays let's get straight into it. And now, of course, for the Incarnate Evolutions. Now, considering we have two builds, we also sort of have two ways of evolving this weapon. The first evolution has already been explained. Incarnate form basically allows you to turn the Soma Prime into a slash shotgun. Now, of course, one thing that you have to keep in mind, why do we have two builds? The normal Soma has high critical chance, and the Incarnate mode doesn't. It has only 10%, and that's why I personally love to use more, for example, two builds than using one, because it's easy to switch builds. Now, evolution number two. We have Fortress Salvo and Fortifying Bleed. Fortress Salvo giving us 12 increased damage with armor over 450, giving us four punch through. This is the one that I, for example, use on my Incarnate build, and then fortifying bloodshed, basically on bleed kill, 100 over shields. I still don't use this. I honestly use Fortress Salvo on both. Then Evolution 3. We have Kinetic Battle. This can be just applied with Stabilizer, so this is not needed. We have Practice Grip, which is really good for your shotgun. Uh, increases accuracy because it actually lowers the spread by 50%. Rapid Reinforcements, 50% Reload. Use this with your normal Soma. And then, fourth evolution, we have Fresh Havoc. Increasing, of course, your damage by 4 uh, and stacks up to 3 times on Reload from Empty. Keep this in mind. This is going to increase your damage by 12 in total and this is going to last you throughout the whole mission elemental balance increases a status chance to 24 percent so basically it is going to increase the status chance here i think from 2.4 uh let me just check uh, 2.8 to 3 and basically from here from 24 to 10 honestly this is the one that i use for my incarnate form and then zero then critical damage by 0.4 for my, of course, normal Soma mode. Now, basically, that is it for that. We're gonna move on to the main sort of section of this video is gonna be, of course, the modding section. And now, of course, for the main and most important part of this video, of course, the modding section. Now, this is going to be our crit build, the one that we're gonna be using just with the normal Soma. If you love the Soma as is, this is going to be basically the perfect build for you. We have, of course, Viral Damage, because as we all know, the Soma Prime is literally the king of Slash when it comes to primary weapons. And, of course, Bane of Corrupted. You always change this out depending on which faction you're fighting. I usually fight high-end Corrupted, so that's why I use this. Uh, Vital Silence, uh, Critical Delay. Galvanized Aptitude, Galvanized Chamber, Hunt Munitions, and of course, as I said, Viral. We have Vigilante Supplies and Primary Merciless. This is a plain and simple build. With this build, you can really kill enemies, but keep this in mind. Honestly, even with the Incarnate Evolution, my honest opinion of this weapon doesn't really change. It's okay, but not the best. Now, Incarnate. Uh, this is a little bit of a different one. Uh, honestly, we're going to be focusing on Viral and also Radiation with uh, Thermal and of course a storm bringer looking like this so if we go all the way down we have radiation and viral again slash is the primary one
one that we're mostly going to be getting. Prime Shred for Fire Rate and also Punch Through. This is going to be very useful, also combined with the Incarnate Evolution. Galvanize uh, Aptitude, Bane of Corrupted, Galvanize Chamber, and of course basically that being in primary merciless and here you can put one of two things uh, honestly in my opinion stabilizer is much much better i sadly cannot put it on but this is much much better than anything else you can possibly put on there because the recoil can get somewhat hard to control now of course Builds are always personal preference. These are the ways that I make my weapon. If you do not like it, make it the way you want it. And basically, that is going to be it. Uh, now, let's move on to my final thoughts. And what do I think of this Incarnan weapon? Now that we made it throughout that modding and evolution hell, we are here finally, and uh, for my honest thoughts about this weapon, I do have to say that it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. I was not expecting something, for example, in the way of the Latron Prime in Karnin, but I was something expecting sort of like defend more, and I'm a little bit disappointed to be completely honest with you. The Incarnan evolution is pretty interesting, being a shotgun mode that is quite fun, but the damage output doesn't seem as good as it could be with, of course, some of the other Incarnan weapons. I'm actually even more satisfied with the Boltor Prime Incarnan than I sort of am with the Soma Prime Incarnan, so keep that in mind. Nonetheless, it is a good weapon. It is usable, it is viable in some sorts. I wouldn't take it to endgame, that is for sure. And you maybe have seen me in the gameplay actually use my melee weapon because sometimes the enemies just overwhelm you so much. With of course a different Warframe option like for example Hero or Gyre, you could do incredible amounts of damage and be incredibly good with this weapon. Why I didn't pick them, why I wish to use Revenant is of course my personal choice of being sort of, you know, level-headed. It's always the same with Revenant, he can boost the damage with Roar but I don't try to use it that much even though I did a lot in this video. But, you know, keep that in mind. Nonetheless, the Soma Prime, a great blast from the past weapon. With its incarnate form, it did get sort of a new burst in life, but in my opinion, not something that you should actively hunt down to get. Or maybe I'm completely wrong and you should leave a massive comment down below why I'm being extremely wrong here, and I would definitely love to hear it. Nonetheless, it has been your friendly neighborhood gaming weasel, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the game. Weasel over and out.